I'm very proud of the book that I published, which is now over a year ago. I cannot believe it. And there's so many great tips in the book. Oftentimes I'll just pick it up and I'll flip through a page and I'll read a tip and I'm like, that's a really great tip. I need to remember to you know, tell the athletes that I'm coaching that. And then sometimes I, I have to remind myself that, hey, I actually wrote that tip. And so that's what I'm doing with these videos is I wanna bring the book to life. So I'm just gonna create a bunch of videos. I'm gonna go through all the tips and I'm just gonna give you one or two tips at a time and maybe give you some backstory behind the tips and a little bit more information. And anyway, I hope you enjoy them. So I very purposely chose these two lessons to kick off my book. Uh, firstly, I wanted to express to people lesson number one, which is, dude, don't take yourself so seriously. In my 24 years now, I think it is, of being in triathlon as an athlete, and that's, I think, 22 years as a coach, I've seen far too many people who, and I like to say this, if, if you're not gonna be a professional triathlete, don't take yourself so seriously. If you're gonna be a professional athlete, triathlete, take yourself seriously. But I've seen far too many people who get into the sport and you love the sport and that's great, but all of a sudden you forget about your friends because I have to train. You know, you don't do anything fun anymore because everything's about training. When you go out, uh, you know, go out to a party, all you talk about is triathlon and, and after a while people are like, oh my God, I need a break from this person, right? And I very much was guilty of that in the early years. You know, you get your, you have that enthusiasm, which is great. Um, but our lives are, are more than triathlon. Triathlon is there to enhance our life. It's not there to become our entire life. Unfortunately, I've seen marriages ended and you know, maybe, maybe the person, one person, man and woman in, in cases got into triathlon and threw themselves into it because their marriage wasn't good and maybe their marriage got worse because they're out on you know, eight hour training rides every weekend and things deteriorate. So that's what I want to impress upon you is don't allow triathlon to consume your life in a negative way. If it's there to enhance your life, then that's what we're looking for because ultimately we want you to experience a better quality of life because of triathlon, uh, not in spite of it. We don't want triathlon to, to take you down a notch, right? We want it to lift you up. And then I wanted to, to juxtapose that with number two, which is engage in your training with seriousness. Because I was a little bit worried that somebody would read that first one and think, oh, this isn't a serious book. It's a very serious book with, uh, you know, 100 great lessons on becoming most successful triathlete and also there's lessons that really apply to life and that's one of the things that I always try to impress upon is that you know triathlon is a metaphor for life there's so many lessons that we can learn in the sport of triathlon that we can take to other parts of our life and this is actually a great one that we can apply that right when you're in your training train with intention and train with purpose be in your workout. When you're in the pool and you're doing your workout, focus on your swim technique. Not only will you become a better swimmer, um, you'll have a better workout, but you don't need to be thinking about your work or thinking about friends when you're in your workout. Think about your, when, think about your workout when you're in your workout. That way, when your workout's over, you leave your workout behind because it's done. If you're you know, if you're always going through life and wherever you're at, you're not present, you're thinking about this, thinking about that. Well, in this case, you leave your workout and you weren't fully invested in your workout. You go to meet your friends and now you're thinking about how you didn't complete your workout or you didn't really get the best workout you could, right? So it all impacts everything. So train with purpose, train with intention, um, be present in those workouts. You'll get more out of them. And then when they're done, they're done and you move on. And then now you, you're with your friends and your family and you, you engage and you be present with them. And you're gonna have a much greater experience in the sport of triathlon as well as life. All right, so those are the first two lessons of the book. I'm very proud of the book that I've written, this, these 100 lessons for triathlon. And if you liked that lesson, then buy a copy of the book. It's available on Amazon, I promise you. It's just packed with goodness and it's gonna take your experience as a triathlete to a whole new level.